So Enrique asked about my experience building other mic parts kits, so I thought I'd bring another one out. This has the mic parts T84 circuit in it, so let's talk mic parts. You're listening to the dangerous mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. So in the previous video, I showed you this microphone, which is an M Audio Nova body with a mic parts T8455 circuit dropped in. Now this circuit has, uh, it's designed to have uh, extra harmonic distortion in it, a little bit more character. Right next door, the T84 circuit, this is designed to be a little bit cleaner, to not have, to be a little bit more pristine, to, you know, eliminate that harmonic distortion, give you more what you hear is what you get. This microphone has a 3U Audio M7 capsule in it. This microphone has the 3U Audio Flat K87 capsule in it. So essentially, they are really two different microphones. So you can't really necessarily A, B them. Um, this microphone, because of the, the M7 capsule, they're a little bit more low mid emphasis. This one has a little bit more of that um, mid push that you would expect from an 87 style capsule, from an 87 style microphone. So overall, you know, I mean, building these mics, great experience. I think that you end up, again, with microphone parts, I'm, I'm a fan. I built, here, let me just show you. I pulled out all of my build manuals of all the mic part stuff that I have bought and built going back to, you know, hold on. You know, I, I have built, and I built some of them actually more than once. So I started with the Studio Projects C1 uh, mod, the 87 EQ mod. This actually used to be a full Studio Project C1. Uh, and originally I did build the Mike Parts uh, 87 EQ mod into it, and it sounds really great. I just ended up taking that entire circuit out at some point to, uh, you know, to really tinker with this microphone. I put in another C1 and I sold it which I wish I hadn't, but, you know, live and learn. Um, VPS power supply. So this is a drop-in replacement. Here, let me switch mics. This is a drop-in replacement for your standard stock Chinese-built uh, tube mic power supply, and it gives you better power regulation overall. Um, another thing I like about it, so you can re and you can also get your power, get your, your voltage, your heater voltage, and your B+, plus. you can get that really dialed in to like 126.3 volts and not worry that it's all over the place. Um, so I really like it. Also, what I really like about the VPS-1, it's very easy to build. Again, all, all these are very easy to build. All the steps are laid out with pictures. All the parts are provided for you. Somewhere has a picture of all the parts. All the parts are provided for you. Um, so if you can solder, you can build this. Uh, I like this. Uh, the other thing I like about the VPS-1 is that the standard Chinese tube mic power supply, you turn it off and it's still trickling power into your microphone for several minutes, for a long time. It may be like 10 minutes. Um, and so, you know, I'm always afraid to unplug the mic with any power going to it at all. The VPS-1 ramps down very quickly. So it goes from 120 volts feeding into your microphone to nothing in like, like two, three minutes. So it's easier, it's safer to unplug your microphone sooner. I like it. It's really great. I built it twice, T8455, which is what you're hearing right here. Um, what's this? This is the T84. Uh, and again, these are, these are not very difficult projects to execute. I mean, you know, there's not a, a ton of parts here. If you know what you're doing, you can build one of these in a day or two days, you know, take your time. I love actually sitting over a board with my soldering iron and just trying to get everything perfect. You know, if you, if you spend a little extra time building it, there's a really good chance that uh, you'll have uh, better success when you power it up than if you rush through it. There's no rush. All right. Enjoy it. Put on some music build your microphone, build your power supply, build whatever you're building. Enjoy it. Okay, I also built the MPV57, which is their transformerless. Uh, it's like uh, de derived from a standard Sheps circuit. Um, pretty good. I like it. Uh, this is in another microphone that doesn't have a capsule at the moment. And um, yeah, so I've, I, I've built a bunch of them. Not all of them, but I built a bunch of them. And I think that they're really high quality. I think they're really well done. And um, you know, the knock that Mike Parts gets from the DIY audio community is that 
the people say, well, you know, uh, like, for example, the T8455 circuit or the MPV57, you know, they cost a lot more than if you were to build this on your own. <laughs> well, if I could build it on my own, I probably would have built it on my own. I needed a kit to understand these uh, circuits a little bit better. And one of the great things about it is that um, building these kits, you know, I like to build microphones from scratch, but building these kits really gave me the confidence and, and the knowledge to build microphones from scratch where you have to go out and source the body uh, separately and all the parts separately and the board separately. And sometimes again, like you have to order parts from like two or three places, you know, like it, for example, the polystyrene uh, capacitors that are in some mic builds, you have to order from like just radios.com and you have to, you know, minimum order of like $25. It's like, it's a pain in the ass sometimes when you have to buy stuff from several different places and Mauser has this one out of stock. So you have to go to DigiKey. It's worth it. But you know what? Buying a kit and being able to sit down with all the parts and an instruction manual. And if you get into trouble, if you get into trouble, you know, Matt will help you. Matt at Mike Parts. Uh, he's the guy who designs all, all this stuff. He's the owner and operator of microphoneparts.com. Matt will, you know, he'll try to help you out. As long as you're not a dick. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have trouble with your microphone, don't be a dick. All right. Just just be kind, you know, you know. And um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, I don't know. This isn't really a disclaimer, um, but I, I haven't I haven't tried any of the microphone parts capsules. All right. So my microphones do not have mic parts capsules. You know, I, I think the the capsules, I've never tried them. Oh, okay, no, that's not true. So uh, a long time ago, Matt sent me a, uh, what, what was it, one of those MXL 990s that had been modded um, with like the V57 and a K47 capsule in it. And this was back in my earlier voiceover days. And uh, I, 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 really, I really did not like the sound of that microphone. And it was the, that particular capsule. I, I'm not a fan of some K47 capsules. I, I actually think that the only 47-ish style capsule I sound good on is an M7. The regular um, Mike Parts 47 capsule get kind of um, exacerbated this nasally, honky, squonky thing that goes on in my voice that you don't hear with other capsules. So... Um, it, it didn't work out for me. I wasn't a fan of that. And, um, you know, I, I believe their capsules are actually made by AYM, which is a, um, which is a capsule manufacturer that's been around for, for a long time. Um, AYM capsules are really good. Um, so overall, my experience with mic parts is just with the circuits and they're all great. They're all great. Um, so Enrique, I hope that helps. Um, I hope that helps anyone who's looking to uh, mic parts as a possible project. Because, again, there is a certain sense of pride that you have when you build a microphone and you plug it in and it works and you hear your voice through it and you're like, damn, I built that. I built that. It's really cool, man. It's, if you love microphones, you'll want to build one eventually. And if you have very little experience doing so, um, you know, if you're new to electronics, if you're new to electronics DIY, I would buy a kit. You know, don't worry that it may cost a little bit more to buy a kit than if you were to buy all the parts separately. I mean, really, in the end, if you're thinking about your, your time, if you're, going to, if you're going to think about your time as a factor of how much your time is worth, would you rather spend, would you rather spend 15 minutes uh, at microphoneparts.com, you know, leisurely ordering something, which you could really do in like two minutes, right? Would you rather spend a few minutes just ordering one kit from micparts.com or spend like three weeks trying to source all the parts for, you know, something else that, you know, may or may not be better? I don't know. What do you think? All right. So Enrique, I hope this helps. And uh, everyone else, hey, leave a comment. Not that Enrique, you can't leave a comment. You've already left a comment, but you can leave more. Leave as many as you want. <laughs> right? 
Okay, microphone parts. <laughs> Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black.